Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good and truly the Lord's mercy. It endures until the end. The Bible declares in the Gospel of Matthew, the 16th chapter and the 27th verse, for the Son of Man will come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he will reward each according to his works. Guess what? <laughs> Jesus is coming back. Do you remember Jesus? Do you remember that one who walked humbly on this earth, who laid aside all of his, you know, majesty and splendor to come down here to die for a world that was full of sin? Do you remember how they treated our Lord? Huh? Do you remember how they disrespected him? Huh? Do you remember how they spit on him? Huh? Do you remember how they beat him? Huh? Do you remember how they mocked him? Huh? Hallelujah! But he hung and the Bible declares he never said a mumbling word. He fulfilled his purpose in life. So guess what? Hmm. He's coming back, but he's coming back in the glory of his father. He's coming back with his angels. And you know what? At that time, he is going to execute judgment on this earth. So it would behoove you if you have not given your life to the Lord. It is a great time for you to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Because when he comes back at this point, huh, you know what? Your title, your position, your, all of those things that the world goes by, it will not matter. Because you know what? Jesus will take no bribes when he comes back that second time and he's going to execute judgment. So again, I say to you, this is the day of salvation unto you. Don't let it pass. You know, I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.